If you have a business, then you're probably not going to be wanting to use individual tax software because it's designed for a person by person usage. And you would rather then have the professional software uh, so that you can do multiple tax returns and you can do the data input more easily, more quickly without having to run through an entire interview process every time you want to make a change to uh, a particular number. Now, the the professional software's Lacert, because it's an older software, was designed to be similar to like QuickBooks Desktop in that you download it onto your actual computer. These days, uh, more and more, obviously, you have to check it online and so on because to, to get the updates and everything. But some softwares are also basically online or web-based softwares in a similar comparison of QuickBooks Desktop versus uh, QuickBooks Online, although it's not exactly the same. I still think Lacert is the best, I think, you know, but I'm, you know, I'm biased on it. I've been using it uh, forever. But with the online software, you might be able to access it from any place, just similar to the QuickBooks software. Uh, you have the same kind of, I still have uh, questions about the security of the online software, not because their servers aren't secure, but because when you can access it from any location, if someone gets your password or something like that, you would think it would be easier to, to hack into the online software because you can access it from the cloud. If it's on your computer, then they could still probably, you know, the professional hacker could probably hack it, but they have to actually get access to your PC, then somehow you would think, which would be a little bit more difficult. Now, obviously, the online softwares argue uh, that that is not the case because they have two-factor authentication and all that kind of stuff. But if you read the IRS, you know, newsletters, they are clearly stating that uh, people that have Trojan or, or people that are are trying to trying to do some internet uh, phishing scams are targeting CPA professionals, and it looks like they might be targeting more the professionals that have the online software. You would think because again they can access if they can get access to the actual software, then they can access to the uh, social security numbers and possibly file fraudulent returns and that kind of thing. So once you get into what kind of software you want to deal with you might then have a question of do i want to think about desktop software versus online or web-based software which which of those two options would be the best option and then of course you have prices that you're going to be dealing with uh from that point forward lacert's pretty expensive option although they have different uh pricing tools on it because it's pretty widely flexible you could find other softwares that uh, possibly are cheaper, but they're usually going to be limited in functionality, possibly not being able to do like as many state tax returns or something like that, or possibly not being able to deal with some foreign income uh, type of situations as easily. 